Right next to Melbourne, Australia is a very rare and odd geological feature. Here we've got an island completely separated by an inlet. We can see how a water current sculpted this island based upon the flow of the inlet. And then we've got a nice expansion bar right as it goes into the coast. Now there's actually a lot to dissect right here because what we're looking at is not the work of rainfall, but rather of an ocean current. Let's start by looking at this section. Here we've got another expansion bar indicating a water flowing this way. But then we've got this nice rounded shape right here. It's kind of odd. And then we've got that channel that continues down. This is from the water current that then flowed this way. Now if you train your eye, you can actually see exactly what happened just by looking at these C shapes. So what this is here, if we zoom in right here, this right here is it called an intermediary arm. And that is something that forms in between two channels. Now these C shapes right here are rounded escarpment edges. These are something that form when water flows over it and erodes it backwards. So right here we can see a river that flowed in this way. But before that river, we've got water flow that was flowing through here, which eroded this backwards, just like in this example. So from this spot, we can see how water flowed this way, flowed down here, and flowed down this way. And then we can look at this feature here and see the exact same thing. And we can see how that goes right into the channel that then flows out this exit. So we've got an indication that there was quite a large current that flowed this direction, and then the dominant current direction was this way. Now we can go just farther down the coast and find something really cool, which is this streamlined feature. This is basically a similar feature. It's a little bit more rounded, but you can see how the channel went all the way around this feature here. Now let's backtrack a tad and start right here and we can see how this is also a streamlined feature. You got an ocean current flowing around it this way and also this way. And we can follow that channel until we run into our streamlined feature and see how water flowed around it on either way. Now the feature of this coastline reminds me a lot of what we can find in Madagascar which is the most perfect streamlined shaped feature on any coastline in the entire world. And we can see how it also has a river-like estuary on the edge of it. This is not from rainfall, but rather from an ocean current, just like what we see in Australia.